all banks are broke. All banks don't have your money. Because remember, we said you give the money to the bank and the bank lends it out to somebody else. So the bank actually doesn't have the money. When the banks run out of money and we go in and ask for the money, banks go bankrupt. And anybody who has, who's below the $250,000 limit in the US and a 100,000 euro limit in Europe has something called FDIC insurance. That is insurance saying, if, if the bank was to collapse, we would insure it and we'd pay you back. Just over $20 trillion of deposits that they need to insure, and they only have 1.6% of the money to insure it, the insurance company. So they literally don't have the money to insure you. But with this activity of the, Fred, the, the Federal Reserve coming in as a savior and protecting everybody, I think what's going to happen is the banks are going to collapse across the board. Small banks, medium banks are going to collapse. And the FDIC is going to need $20 trillion printed to save the banking system, to save the banking system. And this is always the way it goes. They cause the problem. And then they come in with the solution acting like they're the heroes. And people are going to be happy. People are going to say, look, just get me my money back. Get me my numbers on a screen back into my bank account. As you have to print it, schmint it, who cares? It doesn't make a difference. But $20 trillion of money being printed is like almost the entire supply of money that's out there, the dollars out there being printed again. So effectively, inflation goes through the roof. Assets, crypto, all of this stuff blows up and prices go to numbers that just don't even make sense because you just double the money supply in the heartbeat. But people will get their dollars back. But I don't think they'll be the same dollars.